NASCAR Cup Racing from Martinsville, Virginia on FS1. Presented by Mother's High Performance Car Care. Since 1949, 151 NASCAR Cup races, counting today, have been contested on this tight half mile. First as a dirt track, then in the mid-50s, they paved it. Race fans, help us get this race started on three. One, two, three. Drivers, start your engine. Ready to race at Martinsville for 400 laps today on FS1. And we're ready to race for 400 laps at Martinsville. Green flag, the cookout 400 is underway. My gosh, Kevin, that was definitely inside the restart zone. I don't want to hear anything more about it. Well, remember, Clint, the flag does start to face. <laughs> I don't care. It was in the zone. Mark Shrek slid way up the racetrack, almost got three wide right there. Yeah, and that racetrack's been walked on, run on, cleaned up, and that outside groove won't be as good this first run as it, as it typically is. And, you know, if you get hung up there in the wrong position or your car's not handling good, it's tough to get down to the bottom. And sometimes you got to force yourself down to, to find a hole if there is one. But right now there is no hole. And the longer Joey Logano waits, the longer that line will get of cars. That had him. There's the green and white checkers. And Kyle Larson gets his first ever stage win at Martinsville. Changes here to five. He's led every single lap so far for Kyle Larson. He says, my car is good. I just got stuck behind those guys. They held me up. Just air pressure adjustment for Larson. Ricky Stenhouse got turned getting into his pit stall. And because the left rear wheel is outside the stall, he cannot do the stop. Has to back up, turn it around. Not once, but twice, and... Oh, no. Oh. Wedge wrench. He'll be coming back down. Todd Gilliland. Yeah, that or it either... And caution is out for Debris. Likely from Christopher Bell. We're not sure. Uh, a Debris caution is not charged to a particular driver. Since Phoenix in 2022, when he won the Cup Championship. And how about Ford? We haven't talked about them much this year. They've been beat up pretty bad. That Ford Mustang up front, their day is looking good. It's Denny Hamlin's right now. Joey Logano trying to get his first stage win in the last 22 races. Denny Hamlin trying to deny him. Well, now we're going to see if Denny can finish this pass up off the corner by putting the throttle down on the exit. Take, Joey's got that line taken away on the exit of the corner, but Denny rolls a whole car length faster through the center of the corner. If that had been a little bit later in the race, he probably would have forced the issue. Denny Hamlin becomes the third different leader today, looking for those green and white checkers to end stage number two. Seventh stage win at Martinsville for Hamlin, more than any other driver. Bubba Wallace second, Larson Elliott picked up eight spots. Two tires for Ty Gibbs, but look at the contact here. Gibbs at the top trying to come out. Boom. That then watch down here at the bottom. Watch Logano pull out, gets blocked by Bowman, has to check up here and stacks them all up. That's his two spots lost. Close quarters. And Elliott is right with him, headed for turn one. Well, that's the, that's the hard part of, of going that late in the box. For whatever reason, it just becomes hard to, to gain an advantage as the leader. So... Well, that's exactly why he didn't do it last weekend. I mean, it takes the advantage away from you the longer you wait. Look at this. Chase Elliott to the lead. Cleared him. Yellow waves. Turn four. Christopher Bell spins around. That'll be the fourth caution of the day. Not been a good day for Christopher Bell and company. If you could stretch it to 175 laps, and right now we got 197. So uh, Bell was inside Kaz Grala when the car broke loose there. Yeah, it looks like he just spun all on his own. Yep. And who, who knows the, the
the damage that that right front tire did and what it did to the balance. And As they battle side by side for the lead with 143 laps to go in Martinsville. Hamlin's last win here was in March 2015, the same day that Chase Elliott ran his first NASCAR Cup race. Wow. How about that for a stat. Danny ran him up the racetrack that time, got him clear. So Hamlin cements the lead for now. And there's William Byron is passing Suarez for the lead. So Byron, the first to pit in this green flag cycle, passes Daniel Suarez, one of the last two drivers on the racetrack who have not pitted. And that completes the cycle. Still 74 to go. You darn right he's nervous. He wants to win this race and deliver this win back. And Elliott has two car lengths on Kyle Larson. And there's a big gap back to the next car. You couldn't script this any better for them. The only thing that can wipe this out is we know what that is. Can it happen? Will it happen? In oh, my gosh. I don't want to say it. Nemechek. Nemechek. I think he blew a tire right front. All right, pressure's on. What just, are we going to do? Just like last week in the final three laps. Caution. Unbelievable. Blew it right front. Yeah, it looks like the brakes, or maybe brake brakes went are on out. fire yeah. and blew the tire. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nothing comes easy in this sport. Got to earn it. Make the right calls here. Everybody hit their marks. Driver, hit your marks coming in the box. Boys, I need you now more than ever. All right, watch John Hunter Nemechek here in the... Skip Barber racing oh, the car. Brakes. Yep. Yeah, you were See right. The tire blow out right there as he went and hit the brakes going in the corner. See that right front, right front just drop. Oh no. <sighs> and it never fails. No. You Perfect. knew it. I mean, that's why he was nervous. He wasn't nervous that William well, Byron was going to mess up. He was nervous that that caution should come out and take this from them. They had it. One, two, three. They still have it. We got to make the right calls here, and, and everything can be fine. But they they have. Uh, there's a lot can go wrong here. Stuck pretty good there, Kevin. I'm surprised. Three wide back there. Hamlin still ten. Elliott put the bumper to him. Chase Elliott to third. Crash turn four. Three cars around. I no think they flag. made it white. No, no flag. Still white green. flag. Green, green, green. green. Everybody gets away. Slipping and sliding around. Byron way out in the front. Likes what he sees in the mirror. Larson trying to steal second from Chase Elliott. Wallace behind him. William Byron comes to the flag and wins the cookout 400. One, two, three finish for Hendrick Motorsports. 40th anniversary. Look at these people on their feet off of two. Unbelievable. All their employees off of two on their feet. That is awesome. First time that's ever happened at Martinsville Speedway. One team taking the top three spots. Oh, yeah. People here, this three, four, eight. I think in any league you'd like to be batting 375 at this point in the season. Hey, I was nervous for him. I was yeah. nervous for all of them. The 26-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina, celebrates his 13th career NASCAR Cup win. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.